What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Wanja. Today we're going to be talking about how you can try slim down your lower body without adding extra bulk to your calves. The calf area is the back of your lower leg, just below the knee. I'll try to pin a picture for you guys to see and it's actually one of the most common trouble spots among us as women. Now, if you're on my channel, I'm sure you know that we talk a lot about slimming down your lower body, slimming down your legs, slimming down your thighs, and you know, calves is one of the most common trouble spots. So a lot of people do want to slim down without adding that extra bulk or that extra pump in their calves. So in this video, we are going to be talking about some of the workouts which might make your calves bigger and which type of workouts then you should go for so that you do not add extra bulk in the calves. Personally, I do not struggle so much with calves, but I do understand when women and other people tell me that their calf situation is their biggest trouble spot. Just because sometimes I do train for soccer and you know that extra training really involves a lot of running so I usually end up with that extra pump in the calves and I think that is what a lot of people talk about when they talk about bulking up calves. One of the reasons why your calves might be bigger is muscle in the one I think most commonly has to be fat but for this particular video I feel like most of it has to be us dealing with that muscle which we do not want in our calves but we want to slim down the legs. So ideally when there's muscle in fat it means you have overworked out because the more you overwork out your muscles the more they grow and the more they grow is that is what causes that pump or makes them bigger so one of the reasons why your calves might be bigger is because you over work out or the workouts you're doing are workouts which really stress the calf muscles and the more you stress them out the more they grow some of these workouts include jumping rope so i usually get the question is jumping rope going to bulk up my legs mainly if you're overdoing it i know there's a challenge that people do to slim down jumping rope is a really good workout just because it really raises your heart rate up you get that good workout feeling but at the same time you stretch <laughs> you're stressing your leg muscles more and the more you stress the calves ideally the more they grow that is remember that is like what we're not that is what we don't want so jumping rope might be one of them if you overdo it but if you're only doing it maybe twice a week or for recreational purposes like it's not a workout that you do every day then jumping rope is ideal but if it's a workout for you that you do and you overdo it it might bulk so jumping rope other things include running i know i love to run probably it's one of my best workouts to do but at the same time if you overdo it you stress the calf muscles more you stress them more they grow more uh, other workouts include workouts like running up a hill, doing stairs, the elliptical for example. You really want to try avoid workouts which use your calf muscles more. Some other workouts which I also find to use a lot of calf power include traditional HIIT, a lot of squats, a lot of lunges, a lot of mountain climbers, a lot of high knees. Please note that I am not against these workouts but if your end goal is to slim down your legs then this kind of workouts might, might not be good for you. And you can do them. There's a lot of benefits to doing HIIT, but just do them in moderation. Do them two times a week and then the other days go for low impact kind of workouts and your steps. So then how do I work out and try slim down my thighs and my legs without adding extra bulk in my calves? I usually go for low impact kind of training. I go for the low intensity workouts which are up on my channel now some of those workouts are usually just me doing my normal weekly workout routine and i just film it for you guys 
So I do those kind of workouts. They really focus on stretching the right muscles on your leg without overusing your calf muscles more. So if your end goal is that, I would probably go for such workouts. Something else I would suggest, and this one is especially good for people who have added the bulk already, I would go for walking. Walking is really good to help you burn that muscle. And I know I've talked a lot about how walking really does burn muscle in your thighs. So walking and doing the low intensity kind of workouts would be, would be my first two top tips. The other tip of course is uh, dieting right, things like making sure just your lifestyle is try make it the optimum, try make it better, sleep better so that your metabolism is good even when you work out you really do not struggle to see results there's a lot of it with, which comes into it but the first two tips are usually my favorite ones I hope you guys enjoyed this short video and I'll see you guys next time till then, stay safe